Welcome to today's total body strength training session. We are going to get bone healthy today. We are going to sculpt, tone, and define as we work our entire body. Feel free to use a body bar, barbell, and hand weights. Whatever you have available to you is what I want you to use. Absolutely grab your mat. And if you have a resista band or fabric booty band, I absolutely want you to grab that as well. Today is a push day. We're going to work. We're going to rev up our metabolism, resting metabolism. And we are going to sculpt, tone, and define. So if you can go medium to slightly heavy today, that is what I want because the beats in the music are lower. So it's going to allow you to push the medium to heavy weight. All right, team partner, I'm ready to get started. Give me a high thumbs up and a high five and let's go. Welcome to this total body sculpt. We're going to work our total body. Use a body bar, a barbell, hand weights, booty band, and a mat. Tap it right to left. We are going to warm it up right now. My name is Angie, Angie Fitness TV. All you really need is a mat and a set of hand weights. All right? You're my teammate today. You are my partner. We're going to get bone healthy. We're going to sculpt, tone, and define chest. Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you're at in the world. Are you ready to sculpt, tone, and define? I am. I know you are. That's why you're here. Warm it up. All right, teammate, partner, we got a sweaty, bone healthy workout coming up. Today, I want you to focus on the medium to heavy weight. Can you do that for me? Yeah? Let's really work it. Let's challenge our body. Hamstring curl, arms down. All right, man, we are so blessed. We get to move our body. Woo, we get to sculpt, tone, and define today while revving up our metabolism. We know lifting weights revs up our resting metabolism. We burn calories long after the workout is over. Heels and row, heels and row. Are y'all getting warm? The first track is just to get us nice and warm. Oh, let's do this again. Right here. Whoa. Beautiful job. Whew, we're going to really hit that core today as well. All right, tap the toes. Pull it down and up. Palms down and up. Whoo! Oh, beautiful fingertips come to the ceiling. All right, take it to knees. Right here. Beautiful. All right, let's do a little squat. Squat three. Come up one. Sit back in your heels. Shoulders step back. Starting to get those legs. Man, pumping that blood into that lower body. Finish. All right, you guys, you're going to watch me. Grab a weight, side lunge, and up. And we are going to side lunge and up. You got to pick your weight. We're going to reverse lunge and overhead. All right? So I'm going to pick a 12. I told you, you can go a little bit heavier, nice and slow. Side lunge, here we go. Side lunge, up, one. We're going for eight, two. Actually, we're going for 16. 
I got a 12 in my hand. Let's go. Beautiful side lunge with an overhead press. Palm faces in. So I got that medium weight right here. Revving up that metabolism. Eight more. Here we go. Side lunge. Woo! Total of 16 on the side. Oh, you're going to be a sweaty, beautiful mess when this total body sculpt is over. So the purpose of today's class is to rev up that metabolism for bone health and to sculpt, tone, and define. Yeah? Sound good? One more. Woo, quick break. Place the weight in the right hand. We're going to go off to the left. We're going to have 16. Catch your breath. Now we're going to go to the left. We got 16 on this other side. That medium to slight. Heavy weight. Here we go. Woo, starting on that left side. Lower and upper body working. At that same time, palm faces in. Shoulders set back down and away from your ears. Nice and strong. You are powerful. You are strong. Let's grow these muscles. Let's challenge our body. Let's grow these muscles. Eight more. Beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna give us four more, four more. Two more. One more. You're gonna get a little break. Whoo, right here. You're gonna put the weight in your left hand. Feet hip width apart. You're gonna put your feet on a railroad track. You're gonna step that right foot back. We're gonna lunge, come up and hammer curl. Lunge, reverse lunge, hammer curl. Here we go. Lunge, hammer curl, lunge, hammer curl, working glutes and working biceps. Legs are on a railroad track. Down, lift, down. Beautiful job. Okay, next one, we're going to go into the overhead press for eight. Down, up. Don't go the beat here. Two. This is not beat driven, this one. Two. Three. I'll count us instead. Four. Five. We're going to eight. Just go off of me. Just guide off of me. Not the music here. Six. Sometimes I'll go on the beat, sometimes I won't. Seven. One more. All right, put the weight in the right hand, feet hip width apart. We're gonna hammer curl. We can go to the beat on this one. Down, up, eight. I got that medium to slight heavy weight in my hand. Four more here. Legs are on a railroad track. Shoulders set back. Down and away from your ears. Sculpt, tone, and define. Okay, this one is not beat driven. We're gonna go down, overhead press. We're gonna do eight. One, you're gonna keep going. Two. Three, we're gonna keep working through it. Four. Five. Three more. We can do it. Six. Seven. And eight. We are going to go into a squat and plie. We're going to squat and plie. I'm going to grab my barbell. You can use two hand weights, two medium hand weights. 
We're going to plie in row and we're going to squat. I'm going to use my barbell. Use hand weights. So wide squat, down two, up two. Here we go. Down two, press up and down through your heels. Quad work, functional movement, squatting. Let's go. Down in your heels, working that lower body. Sit back in your heels, evenly distribute the weight between that right and left leg. Feel those quads, glutes, and hamstrings engage. Again. Let's go down three, up one, down three, up one. Move through that wet cement. Go back in those heels, sit back in the heels. Three by one. One by three, down one, up three. Play with the beat, down one, up three. Two more. One more, you guys. We're gonna single it out before we move on. Singles, your way. Down, up, sit back in your heels. I'm in a wide squat. Press up and down through the heels. Nice and equal between that right and left leg. All right, come up. We're gonna plie. Take it in a plie. Shoulders step back, down and away from your ears. Go, down, two, up, two, down, two, up, two. Just plie. Hand weights or barbell, it doesn't matter. I'm just holding it here, working inner thigh. Beautiful job. Let's keep that two by two, keep it two by two. I got 12 on each side of this bar. Again. Three by one, three by one. Go down three, up one. Two more, two more. Press through both heels, nice and equal. Down one, up three, down one, up three. Down one, up three. Two more sets and we single. One more. We got eight singles and we're moving on. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Toe heel in. Hand shoulder width apart with your weight. You can split stance or regular stance. Feet hip width apart. We're gonna row up to the chest. Up two, down two. Ready, go. Up to the chest. Down two shoulders. You can split stance. Again. Two by two, you guys. Working the upper body now. Keep it going. Couple more. Just to the chest. Three by one, three by one. Up three, down one. Two more. One more. Up one, down three. Come on, move through that wet cement. Grow those muscles. Two more. You got eight singles. One, two, just to the chest. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna finish squats. Whoo, ready, down and up, down, up. Down, up, two more. Two more down and ups. And release, okay. Deadlift row, clean and press. Here's a clean and press. Feet hip width apart, you can use, you can use hand weights. Squat, clean, press, 
and down. Okay, we're gonna go into deadlift. Feet hip width apart, shoulders set back down. We're working back, we're working glutes and hamstrings. Down to up to, you're gonna hinge from the hip. Ready, go. Down for two, press through the heels. You're gonna activate the glutes. You're gonna activate the hamstrings. Down for two, up for two. Down for two, feel those hamstrings engage. Visualize the toes are coming off the ground. Down for two, and up for two. Two more. And we're gonna just do a deadlift in a row. We're gonna bring our weights to our knees. Deadlift, row, come up. Working a hamstring, glutes, and back here. Down, up. It's a deadlift row combination. Keep it up, deadlift row. Lift those toes. Squeeze a lemon in between your shoulders. Right there, woo! Sculpt, tone, and define. We got eight more deadlift row combo. Come on, hinge from the hip. Equalize the weight between both legs. You can do it. Don't round through the back. Four more, four more. You are strong. You are powerful. You are here for bone health. You are here to rev up your resting metabolism. All right, clean and press for eight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So you squat as you clean. Then press. Hop. Four more. Four more. Three more. So it's a squat with a clean. And then press. Two more. Break. Weight down. I don't care if it's your body bar, dumbbell, whatever. Move. I know I got that heart rate up. Okay. We're gonna pick up that weight again. Just deadlift. Ready? Two by two. Press nice and even. Really feel the glutes activate in that hamstring. Shoulders set back, down and away from your ears. Woo! Pick the toes up off the ground. Hinge from your hip. Don't round through your shoulders, neck or back. Come on, let the heels take you down and up. Deadlift row combination, coming up. Deadlift row combination. Work the back. You're working your posterior chain of your body. That's the back side of your body. We need this for posture. Take your weight right here to the belly button, top of the knee, hinging from your hip. I want a nice, I don't want your back to round. I don't want your shoulders to round. Ready? Beautiful, clean, and press. We got eight. Here we go. One. We got eight. Two. Woo! Three. Four. Four more clean and presses. Four. Four. I know you're working. Three. Two more, two more, two, one more, break, shake it out, I know, I know that heart rate's up, look at me, thumbs up partner, teammate, high five, we're sculpting, toning, and defining, revving up, Woo! that metabolism long after the workout, pick your weight, deadlift, shoulder set back, feet hip width apart, Two by two, last set. Woo! Come on, let's go. Two by two. After this, you're gonna need your mat, and you're gonna want your fabric band or your booty band, and your small ball. Again, you don't have to have it. Only thing that's required is a hand weight, that's it. Now don't round in your back if you're getting tired. 
You may see me round a little bit. That's not good. That means you got to drop the weight. You got to do something to get in better form. Okay, tr skull crushers and bridge. But I want you to have your booty band. Can you get your booty band by your side and your mat? Okay. And I'm going to pick a weight just in case. Okay, we're going to do skull crushers. Let me show you skull crushers right here. I'll just show you with the weight. You can have one weight or two weights. Okay, elbows up to the ceiling. We go to the forehead and we lift. I'm gonna pick one weight, are you guys ready? Skull crusher, two by two. Down for two, up two. Down two, up two, tricep. Right here. Come on. You got four more traps to work through. Keep going, two by two, skull crushers. Heavy weight, medium heavy. Keep it going, two by two. Elbows point to the ceiling. Feel the triceps working. All right, let's take it down to the belly button. Down, lift, this is tricep work insides of your arms touch the inside of that rib cage go to the belly button and lift belly button lift skull crusher two by two now go to the belly button single two skull crusher belly button keep it going skull crusher then belly button Keep that pattern. You're gonna give me four more. We're moving on. Skull crusher. And then belly button for two. Keep it going. You got two more. We're gonna bridge. We're gonna work the glute. One more, one more. All right, you guys, that was for the triceps. If you want, you can put the ball in between your knees. You don't have a ball, don't even worry about it. Not required. Now I'm gonna put my barbell on my hips because I want that extra weight. All right, you guys, we're gonna lift and lower. This is for glutes and back, up and down, lift, lower I have this extra weight on my hips you're gonna feel your back your glutes and your hamstrings engage I have the ball in between my knees so I can track my hips knees and ankles in the right anatomical position you don't have to have the ball in between your knees but it's really gonna make a difference up and down for the glutes go up down up, down, up, down, up, lift. Oh, really feeling that back side of your body work. Come on, up, down, lift, lift. Oh, burn, baby, burn. Really feel the glutes and feel those hamstrings. Come on. One more set. Here we go. Up down up and down oh that weight is making a huge difference up down up down up down grab your weight we're gonna do some more skull crushers we're gonna do some more wow my noodle came off okay I'm gonna keep that bar on my hips cuz I'm gonna use it again skull crushers two by two here we go Skull crusher, two by two. Beautiful two by two pattern. Working those triceps, finish four more. Two more, and we're gonna go into the glute lift bridges. 
Okay, put the weight. You're gonna have a weight however you wanna do it. You could use your hand weight for both. Right here. Glute time, press the hips up to the ceiling. Press the hips up to the ceiling. Press, press. I want the hips to lift, activate the glutes, activate the hamstring. Put that extra weight on your hips. You gotta lift that extra weight. We're here to challenge our body, right? Then let's challenge it. You must challenge your body in order to change your body. Nice and equal, press down in that right and left heel, equally. Press it up, you're almost done. Press it up. Oh yeah. Okay, so now all we're gonna have, you can put on your booty band if you have it. Again, if you don't have it, don't worry. Okay, so this is it. After this, we're going into core, extended core, and then we're done, okay? So this is our last track outer thigh and back i have one weight and i'm going to go over for two and back for two like this over for two and back for two i have a 15 in my hand all right let's take the weight to the ceiling back and outer thigh and four and three two by two we're working the back over for two and up for two you can use a barbell a body bar a hand weight right here working that back keep that two by two pattern keep it over for two up two beautiful beautiful workout guys the sculpt tone and define let's keep that two by two pattern nice slow and control beautiful You really feeling that in your back? You should. All right, just take the weight up, legs up, pulse it out. Two, three, then in. Out, two, three, work in the outer thigh, pulse it out. Two, three, and in. Out, two, three, and pulse out three and one. Keep it going. Nice, neutral foot, soft bend in the knee, one. Really feel your outer thigh engage. It's going to bite. One more. All right, let's leave the legs up. Let's go to the back. Over for two, up for two. Working your back now, just keeping the legs lifted. Your low back is on the mat, just leaving the legs lifted. So when we hit the outer thigh, four more, four more. Down for two and up for two. Head nice and neutral. Shoulders set down and away from your ears. One more. Are you ready to pulse the outer thigh? Out three and one. Pulse, two, three, and one. So pulse it out for three. Come in one, woo! You're hitting a little gluteus medius and minimus right here. You're hitting a little bit of glutes when you're doing your outer thigh work. That's why you're feeling it in your butt cheeks. Two more. Pulse it out for three. In one. All right, two by two, feet down. I'll give your outer thigh a little break here. Keep that two by two pattern. Working your back, working your back. One more. We're just gonna lift the legs. We're not gonna do anything. Keep the two by two pattern. Three more. Two more. One more. All right, let's get to that three by one pattern. One, two, three. Oh, Angie, we are burning. I know you're burning. I'm doing it with you, partner. We're in it together to sculpt, tone, and define. Four more. You want to rev up your resting metabolism. You want to burn calories long after the workout is over. Yeah? You want to burn that body fat. Woo! Two by two in the arms. Working muscular endurance. 
Let's go. Core work after this. We can do it. Oh, feel your back work. Two more. All right, you can put the weight down. Three by one, three by one. Oh, we're going to finish with those outer thighs, burning it. I know you feel that glute medius, a little minimus, bite. Yeah, you're going to feel it outer thighs and glutes. Soften in the knee. Nice neutral foot. Press out with the outer thigh. Press out with the outer thigh. Oh, burning, baby burn. Oh, you can do it. You can do it. Press out nice and equally between that right and left leg. Oh, all right. You can take your booty band off. If you so choose, you can grab your ball to put in between your knees and a set of light, light hand weights. So I have light hand weights, three core tracks. It's extended core, three core tracks. Again, optional. You can put the ball in between your knees. It will help engage that pelvic floor. All right, let's lay on our mat. You're not squeezing the ball. You're just holding it in between your legs. All right, we're gonna go up for two. We're gonna take the weights to the ceiling. Ready? So up for two, lift for two. Down two, up two. Down two, up two. Down two, roll it down for four. Roll it, four, three, two, one. Take the weights over your head. Three, two, one. Going really slow. Four, three, two, and one. Lift. Two, three, and four. Palms face each other. Elbows, lift. Elbows, lift. Elbows. Working. Also, when you think of core, you've got to work your back extensors as well. They are part for posture. Down for four. Down, two, over your head for four, over your head, move through that wet cement, up for four, four, three, two, one, lift, palms face away, elbows bend down and up, down, up, really work in the back, extensors, four more, here we go, four, you're not squeezing the ball, you're just holding the ball, down for four, down for four, down, Two, three, four, up for four, four, three, two, one, up for four. Hold, hold, hold here. We're gonna just take the arms in front. In front, lift to the ceiling. In front, you're working your core this whole time, you guys. Don't take your arms behind your ears. They do not go behind your ears. All right, roll it down for four, three, two, and one over your head for four, three, two, and one. Roll for four, three, two, and one over your head. Four, three, two, and one. We're gonna come forward for two, out to the side for two. Forward for two, out to the side for two. Forward for two, out to the side for two. Forward for two, out to the side for two. Now roll it down, down, down. Just stay down, just stay down. Roll it down. All right, we're gonna just roll forward. We're not gonna take our hands over. We're gonna come up for four. We're gonna just come up, two, three, four. Roll down, two, three, four. One bird at a, butt at a time. Two, you're not squeezing the ball. You're just holding it in between your out inner thighs. That engages the pelvic floor. Shoulders melt away from your ears. Up, two, three, and four. Down, two, three, four. Keep it going. Shoulders melted away from your ears. Moving through the wet, wet cement. Control it up. And you're gonna control it down. We're gonna reverse crunch. 
we're just going to come into out two in two out two working lower core in two out two reverse crunch work in the lower core move through that wet cement keep it going in two out two just in for two out for two rolling nice and equal between the hips feel your low core engage Woo! right here just visualize you are controlling your movements control those legs they go up and they go down nice and smooth up two down two up for two and down two right here beautiful job pick up the weights just come up up two three and four and down two okay you can put the weights up we're gonna hit a side you can still have that ball if you choose to have the ball we got to hit internal external obliques last two songs right here we are doing extended core right here now you can put a bend in your knee if you want your top hand it can come behind your head we're gonna crunch in in out 16 here we go one two three working internal external obliques nice and control extended core workout eight more here we go eight seven six five four three two and one quick break you're gonna lay on your back you're gonna hold the ball you're gonna have your hands thumbs up now we're gonna just go to the right to the outside of the leg and to the back ready here we go to the front front for two center for two back for two center for two spinal rotation and strengthening up for two so you go to the back of the wall and center for two so front center back center front center back center four more four more front center now your bottom leg never touches the ground. You are really strengthening all those spinal, those muscles that help with rotation. Woo! All right, take that leg up. Take it down to the 45, 45 degree angle. And hold right here. Really feel your core engage. Just hold isometric contraction nice and neutral with your foot you're not squeezing the ball you're just holding it in between your knees you're really feeling this huge pelvic floor engagement all right we're gonna rock and roll same side 16 more 16 15 14 13 12 11 10 nine last eight we go to the other side eight seven six five four three two one all right switch to the other side we're gonna do 16 again you don't have to hold a ball you can modify your workout get ready top hand comes behind your head 16 here we go one two three four five six seven eight more eight more eight come on you can do it guys seven you are so strong challenge your body so you can grow your body it requires work All right, lay on your back. We're gonna go two by two. Front for two, center for two. Thumbs up, 
back for two. Center two, really working on that rotation. The bottom leg does not touch the ground. Back for two, center two. Back for two, center two. Back for two, center two. Back for two, come up, last 16. 16, I gotta get them in. 15, 14, 13, I know you're feeling it. 12, 11, 10, I'm counting, I'm counting. Nine, last song. Eight, seven, six, you can do it. Five, come on, last song. Four, and three, and two, and one. Woo, last song, you guys requested extended core. So I'm giving you extended core. Okay, last song, put the ball in between your knees. Again, no ball required. You can do this all without a ball. Hands underneath your shoulders. Curl your toes under. Lift your knees off the ground. Right here. Woo! So we're gonna lift into our, lift our butt and hold at the knees. So you're gonna basically lift your butt, hold at the knees, your knees don't touch the ground. Here we go. Lift for two down for two knees don't touch the ground back on your heels knees down back on your heels knees down hold the ball back on your heels hold the knees down but the knees do not touch the ground knees do not touch the ground hands stabilize under the shoulders back for two down for two knees do not touch come on this is your last track Working core. All right, we're gonna hold it down. Hold it down, knees do not touch. Sit back a little bit in those heels. Rock the hips back to the heels. Rock the hips back to the heels. You can do it. All right, let's go into that high plank. Walk it back. Walk it back into that high plank. Walk it back, you're still holding the ball. Hips are nice and square. Hands are under the shoulders. Hold that high plank. Hold it. Your job and your only job is to hold this high plank. If there's tension in your head, head neck, or shoulders, release it. You are a nice, tight plank. Hold the plank. Let's go. Hips are nice and square. I am really challenging your core. You're gonna pick a side, forearm side plank, pick a side. Back of the wall, front, I don't care, it's a side plank. I'm on my forearm. Lift that bottom hip to the ceiling. Isometric holds. I'm really challenging your core today. Lift that bottom hip to the ceiling, guys. There is absolutely no tension in the head, neck, or shoulders at all. All right, front plank. Hold that front plank. Remember which side plank you did because we're gonna go on the other side. Other side, side plank, the other side you did not do. Let's go. You're lifting the bottom hip to the ceiling. You're lifting your bottom hip to the ceiling. Lift your bottom hip. Lift your bottom hip. Come on, lift. You are here to sculpt, tone, and define. If you want a nice body, it is work. Don't ever think it's not. Come reverse plank. Right here, let's go. Holding that ball. Woo! Anything you want in life is work. It requires daily consistency, daily care, daily thought. You cannot have a sculpted, toned, and defined body by doing nothing. You can't wish for it. You have to dig in and do the work. 
Come on, right now. Your back is a part of your core. Your glutes are a part of your core. Lift it up. Come on, lift the glutes. Come down, you're gonna finish with a basic crunch. Up and down. Oh, finish with those basic crunches. Shoulders off the mat. Do not pull on the head, neck, or shoulders. Six pack abs are made in the kitchen. Let me repeat. Six pack abs are made in the kitchen. You will never ever get six pack abs if you don't have your eating under control. <laughs> Did you all hear that? Your abs are made in the kitchen. It's what you eat. Whew. All right, put that ball away. It is now time to stretch. Take off those shoes if you want. I always take off my shoes. Stretch time. Take that outside leg forward. Sometimes you see people wear big smiles and lift. But sometimes you recognize your blessings and manage to spot them. Time for mobility and flexibility. Listen up. People consider crazy something that is way out of the league. Out of the league. So they speak about it like it's foolish to even think you could achieve something you dream, something you see, but something that no one ever would see. Beautiful hip flexion, stretching, releasing your hip flexors. All right, hands down. Take this front leg, take it to your back heel. Back, hip, pigeon pose. Stretching out your deep lateral rotators of your hip. Opposite heel to the hip. Right here, you're gonna bite right here. Sit and breathe with it. Breathe and release. Mobility, flexibility time. Feel that release. All right, let's hit the other side. If you want, lift your fingertips to the ceiling. Your eye gaze can come to the ceiling as well. All right, take that front foot. Take it to that back hip. Line your heel and your hip up. Feel the stretch right here. Just breathe through it. Just sit with it. Move around if you need to. Curl that back toe under, front toe under, downward facing dog. Really stretch out those calves, you guys. Look, judge Let both calves, let both heels just is. drop, release your upper body. Walk your hands back to your toes. Grab your elbows and hang. Stretching out the posterior side of your body. Hands on your thighs. Roll it up. And roll it down. Start to loosen. Hip mobility, spine mobility, roll it up and down. Your timing. Walk it down to your right side. Walk it down.
Last song, guys. Last song to stretch. Walk it down to the right side. Let your head hang. Shake it yes. Shake it no. Release and let it go. Now just bend. Let's hit that inner thigh. Does life happen to you? Or does life happen for you? We don't have a lot of time on this earth. You got to make up your mind. For what it's worth. Other side. Less and less people master their emotions. So many highs and lows like when the moon controls the oceans. See, they don't run their life because their life runs them. And they can't run forever. So every path is looking grim. Their problems are blamed on. Take it up. Everyone lean to the left and hang. So they never take responsibility for their life. And more importantly, for how they feel. And that's the truth. And if you know it, then you got to keep it real and ask yourself. Place your hand center, left fingertips to the ceiling, spinal rotation, eye gaze to the ceiling. Really feel that beautiful rotation pattern. The answer that you get to that question will shape your life, and you get no second chance. Left hand down, right fingertips to the ceiling, eye gaze to the ceiling. Feel that beautiful rotation and through the shoulder and the back. This is just one perspective. You have to be selective. Do you believe that life is hard and you're just at the mercy of what we call luck? What's up? Take Hands down, to toe heel in, so they're hip width apart. Does life happen to you? Grab that right wrist, come over to the left. Eye gaze to the ceiling. Elbow open and back. For what it's worth, the truth is everyone decides how they're gonna live. Because we all decide what meaning that we Grab that left wrist, lift it up and over. What shows up, I gaze to the ceiling. How we show up, we don't decide the circumstances that arrive on a daily basis, but we do decide how we react to them. So let's face interlace it. your There's fingers, no thing as actual reality, chest it's expansion, this is right ear, right shoulder. What you ask yourself, does life happen to you? Chest open, or left ear, left shoulder. Drop the shoulders back hurt. down and away from the ears, right ear, right shoulder. No such thing as reality. Left ear, left shoulder. There's only your version of it. You see, it's an interpretation. That meaning is based on a life of Grab condition. your wrist. A life of Just get a nice shoulder stretch. Others' opinions are forming our own. But the point of it all is Other we side. decide that meaning. The way we feel about Stretching everything the in our life. Is our Tricep life. stretch. The way we feel about everything in our life is our life. The way we feel about Other everything tricep. in our life is our life. Yeah. The way we feel about everything in our life is our life. One more time, side stretch. Eye gaze to the ceiling. Other side. Deep breath in. And we are done. Wowzer, wowzer, wowzer. Angie, Angie Fitness TV. Share, follow, comment, blog, mention me. I'll see you for our next workout. Partner, teammates, thumbs up, high five. We pushed, we rocked, and we are a better person for it. I'll see you next time.